Hey, 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 it's Pastor Mike. If you love what we do at Time of Grace, speaking biblical truth into everyday issues, then you are going to love the podcast, The Non-Microwave Truth, by my friend and brother in Jesus, C.L. Whiteside. C.L. is a high school educator and a coach who isn't afraid to take on tough topics, but always through the lens of God's Word. Just search for The Non-Microwave Truth wherever you get your favorite podcasts. In the state of Nebraska, there is a tiny little town called Pilger, which has just under 400 residents. And back in 2014, little Pilger was annihilated, not just by one tornado, but by multiple tornadoes at the exact same time. It uh, literally wiped out, wiped out the entire town. But Pilger, Nebraska has a, has a town motto. I don't know how many towns that have not even 400 residents have their own motto, but Pilger, Nebraska has a town motto, and I think it's really significant. Their, uh, their, town, their town motto is, you know, Pilger, Nebraska, too tough to die. <laughs> too tough to die. And, um, and they really are. After those tornadoes came in, after they wiped everything off the surface, you know what, uh, what those tornadoes didn't touch? They didn't touch the foundations of any of those buildings. And so Little Pilgrim, Nebraska was able to build again because even though what was above the surface had been shaken and destroyed and pulled apart, the foundation was still there. And so they were able to build again, and, and they did. Too tough to die. We know not a town like that, but we know a friend like that. Too tough to die. You know what it's like to be assaulted with the storms of life. You know what it's like to have them come in and rip our hearts apart and leave our brains swirling with a lack of confidence. Jesus knows what it's like to be ripped apart too. He's felt the storms of life. He's felt the winds. He's felt the waves. He's felt the weight. He knows that feeling. But of course, he also knows the feeling of what it's like to rise above it. He knows the feeling of an empty grave on Easter morning that showed the whole world that there really is no storm that can get the best of him and therefore no storm that will get the best of you. The empty grave on Easter morning gives the gift of hope to anyone who's looking for a fresh start, looking for a relationship to be reborn or renewed. It gives us a place where we can always go back no matter what kind of damage the storms of life have done and a place where we can start building again piece by piece, brick by brick, Bible passage by Bible passage, promise by promise. That's the gift that Jesus gives us in his life, his death, his resurrection. And in Matthew chapter 7, where again he makes this promise, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. He will not fall. Not when your foundation cannot be moved. The weakness of the house does not determine the strength of the foundation. And the strength of our foundation is strong to make us stand through any storm that can hit God's children. <laughs>